accurate forecast. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Sabrina Fine. Not a bad day today. Temperatures fairly seasonal. We saw a little bit of sunshine now dealing with some clouds, but we're watching a cold front knocking on our door as we speak. We also have another cold front fairly strong, and this one may produce severe weather. We're going to talk all about it. First off, taking a live look on outside, noticing those clouds. In fact, that are in place for us. This is all in part due to that first front that's on the move, producing a little bit of rainfall as well. Found now out over toward Jaredsville, pushing a little bit closer uh, into the Pennsylvania border there. The broader view, though, shows most of us not dealing with any showers right now. And in fact, I think we have such a dry layer of uh, atmosphere right above the ground that if anything does in fact fall, it's going to be just like mist almost, not dealing with a lot of moisture in the atmosphere to make that rain actually touch the ground. Temperature wise with that, though, 65 degrees ahead of our cold front, noticing temperatures for us into Bel Air about 58, Charleston or Chestertown, you're also looking at about 63. Look what's happening further to the south, though. A round of severe weather is expected throughout the southeast. They're in association with the warm front. We don't get the warm front. Instead, we're talking about this cold front now beginning to slice throughout the Ohio River Valley, and that is what is on its way to us. Starting us off tomorrow morning, abundant cloud coverage. We will see about a 10% chance of rain, so it's not a lot of it, but it's still hanging out around the region. Temperatures also are going to drop about five degrees compared to where we were for today. So it maybe makes us slightly cooler than normal. You probably need those long sleeves out there, even if you're staying in the house and you're doing your uh, work from home. Once we get to Tuesday, this is our stronger front here. You can already see pops of yellow and red. So this day, temperatures are going to warm up slightly. That's going to take us to seasonal, and it's also going to introduce the threat of severe weather. The main culprit's going to be wind, up to 58 miles per hour for some of those gusts. It's also just going to be a fairly windy day across the board, 10 to 25 miles per hour. And we could even see a little bit of hail form in some of the uh, thunderstorms. Here's your hour by hour future cast for you. Starting us off at about eight in the morning, look at the blanket of green here. Yet again, fairly dry at the surface though. So if anything does make its way to the ground, we're not talking about a lot. The best chance will be found out over toward Annapolis and even into Stevensville. By about 10 to 11 o'clock, the rain chance comes to an end. And by three o'clock, this is going to be the time to to walk your dog because you'll get a little bit of sunshine out there. Temperatures, though, remember, are going to be a little bit cooler than normal, but overall winds on Monday just 5 to 10 miles per hour. So a nice day once we get through the morning showers and clouds. By Tuesday, 145, you're already seeing some of the yellows. This will be the best chance that we could, in fact, develop some severe weather. They're just going to be pop up thunderstorms, all really based on how warm we get ahead of the cold front that will move through the region. And then by six o'clock, it is done. The Storm Prediction Center does, in fact, have a, a marginal risk of that light shading in green. So if you look at it as a category one to five, a category one chance that we could be dealing with some severe weather. Yet again, the main threat's going to be some of the wind and hail. And before we get that severe weather though. We just have that first front we're talking about. So we'll notice tomorrow morning the cloudy skies, temperatures into the lower 50s. Then by one o'clock, 56 degrees, little peaks of sunshine already coming on out. More sunshine by 5 p.m. as we work our way on into the 60s. 70 forecast for you. 62 tomorrow, isolated morning showers. Then on Tuesday, temperatures then are going to be a little bit more mild, about 65. The threat of severe weather, it will be windy all day. Wednesday, the best day of the week, although it will be fairly cold, even when you start out in the 30s, only warming up to the 50s. And now it looks like Thursday and Friday, we could see one to two inches of rain coming on down then. That's the look at your seven day forecast, Mallory. Thank you, Sabrina. The